Welcome to Data Science in Your Pocket, your home for advanced AI. So late night, OpenAI has open source Codex CLI. It is a lightweight coding agent that they have released that runs directly in your terminal. You can ask it questions around your database, ask it to create a repo and what not. It is able to do everything. Now, if you look into its feature, here is our demo video that is going on that you can see right now it supports open a api only but i think soon we would be having some folks that would be able to manage codex cli with other llms as well here you can see on the screen there is an example going on for codex cli where we are mentioning the model o4 mini and it is doing different tasks on your repo looking into what does codex cli means it is an experimental project under active development so it is not stable do remember this quick start is quite easy you need to npm install open a codex i am yet to test out the fr uh, framework but i think it would be good and it supports just open a api key that's the only limitation i see you need to run it just provide a prompt i wish to understand this code base or there are multiple approval modes also that they have given that i'll be talking soon create the fanciest to-do list app so there are certain limitations that you can provide to this particular coding agent or you can give it full autonomy as well. Now why Codex? As you can see, it is built for developers who already live in the terminal, who have been operating everything using terminal. To be honest, I also operate most of my stuff using terminal. So this is a big boon because IDs like cursor.ai do provide you the fancy ID, but at times I love the terminal part only. Zero setup as mentioned, you just need to npm install and provide your open a API key. That's it. Provide prompts and it's working. The best part being it is multi-model as well. You can provide screenshots to build out something and it will be able to build it out. So that's the best part. Here you can see that the different modes that you can assign Codex CLI to. Suggested is default, can read any file. Still requires approval for file writes and bash command. So it can read any file without asking, but it needs to have permission for file writes and bash command in the default setting. Auto edit, it can read and apply patch writes to file and can run any writing, but it can't operate directly on shell and bash commands. Full autonomy, it can do everything, right? So depending upon how much security you want to have you need to provide the approval mode flag to codex cli apart from that sandboxing details are also there i'm not jumping into that there is a system requirement i think quite decent there are certain examples that the team has shared command is codex codex dot 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 codex fix lint errors as you can see the purpose codex minus q quite mode codex completion Codex completion bash. So these are different examples our team has given. Other examples are also given like Codex refactor the dashboard, generate SQL migration, write unit tests for utils forward slash date dot TS, Codex bulk rename, rename everything on the system, explain what does regex do. These are different examples that you can perform with Codex on your repository. And this looks quite fascinating given it is open source framework, though it requires a paid API. So I hope you try out Codex. Everything is present in the GitHub repo. All the details around it. All the different configurations, facts are also mentioned. I'm yet to try out the framework as already mentioned. But this looks quite interesting and looks lightweight. As they have mentioned that it's not overloaded with features. But just enough to help you out. So I hope you try out OpenAI Codex. I will soon be trying out and releasing a new tutorial shortly. Thank you so much.